Hey everyone, this is Jeff Bat. I'm going to show you how to actually make a consistent header and a consistent footer in jQuery Mobile and how you can do that so you don't have to have a, you know, a new header and a new footer on every single page. If you're already familiar with uh, jQuery Mobile, great. If you're not, you can check out my website, learningdojo.net, and I do have a full tutorial on jQuery Mobile that you can uh, get sign up and, and take a look at. So let's go ahead and go into the project for now, and let's see what we have so far. So you can see in this project, I have a page one, and this page one, so it's just a data dash roll page and then a page one for the ID. Then I have a header, I have a footer, and then this uh, link to go to page two. And then on page two, I have a new header, a new footer, which could be annoying if you wanted to have some uh, something that kind of wraps all the pages together, some type of logo up on the top, or menu, or some type of navigation down in the footer, you would have to recreate that header and footer in every single page. So this is a way to be able to do that without actually having to um, to just have one header and one footer on every single page. Now I'm going to close out this project right now. I'm just going to remove that from the, the sidebar. We don't need that. And so this sample project, I already have a JavaScript file called interactions.js. I will need to use some jQuery inside of here, so I already have a document ready function. And this is ready for my code that's available, and I can use that code right there. All right, so now I need to just come into the index.html and let's go ahead and remove the header. So I'm going to, from one page, I'm going to remove this header from the first page and I'm going to go ahead and place that header um, just kind of above that first page. And so this is going to be outside of any specific page in jQuery Mobile. So let's make a comment here saying header and so let's indent that and just kind of comment that out so we have header there now i'm going to take the footer and do the same thing so i'm going to remove the footer from that page and come down and i like to place the footer below all of my pages now still within the body tag but i'm going to go ahead and just kind of modify that here and now let's just say instead of page footer one let's just go ahead and just say page footer there and instead of page one let's just call this um sample website or something like that again this is up to you if you build some type of courses or some type of navigation this is a great way to be able to do that so now your page one it actually becomes a little bit cleaner because your page one doesn't have a header and it doesn't have a footer it just has content it has this class ui dash content and so the contents within there this also means that i don't need to have the page two header so i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and i don't need to have the page two footer as well so i'll delete that as well so and let's just make this comment page two because this is the page two um, interaction so I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now if I was just to preview this, come back in here into my HTML file, my header and footer just completely went away. So that's not exactly what I want. I just need to add one JavaScript uh, line of code inside of this document ready. And so it's a pretty simple line of code. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So you see that it's a jQuery code. We're basically finding the data dash role equals header and the data dash role equals footer that's inside of that um, the HTML file, the main document. And we're making this, we're calling a function called toolbar. And this toolbar will just say, okay, this, whatever you find is the header, whatever you find is the footer, make that the toolbar. That's the only line of code that I need to do. If I come back in here and hit refresh, I just noticed one problem. I forgot to end this with the parentheses there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that. Closing parentheses, hit save. I'm gonna re-comment or re-uncomment that out. And now if I hit refresh, there we go. So you can see that's uh, the sample website and the sample, the page footer. It it's doesn't have the default page because it doesn't know which styling to do. So you will need to go in there and add some styling to it and uh, remove uh, like the border or just go ahead and uh, add some default styling to it. But it at least, no matter what page I go to, that header and that footer will actually um, stay the same. So again, if I wanted to stylize the header and footer, I can come into the CSS file. Let's go ahead and just say dot UI dash header, and then add some, uh, let's just say border style equals none. Hit refresh, and then you can see that border went away. Well, obviously I need some background, so I'm gonna say background color equals let's just grab I have a color picker application that I really like I'll pull up that color picker just grab a green color 
and let's just say that for now. Now if I come back in here, hit refresh, you can see now it's added some green to that color. And the footer is the same thing if I come in here and uh, say U dot UI dash footer. And then I can say border style equals none as well. And then background color, let's add like a kind of a light gray here. And now if I come back in and hit refresh, you can see the page footer. That looks a little bit better than I may want to change that to, to uh, kind of a darker gray up on top. Um, or I could even change, let's come in here and say color. Uh, let's change the color to white and you can see now that looks a little bit better. The font that I'm using is a little bit different fonts. I mean if you're using default Arial or something like that, that might look a little bit better. But it at least it gives you the, the flexibility to create this uh, header and the footer once and then it goes across to every single page. And the color and the styling that I've just assigned inside of the CSS file applies to all pages. So if you wanted to do that, that's the way that you can remove your header and footer from the default jQuery mobile pages and uh, use it inside of, um, and has crossed all of your pages. Now it has to be in the same HTML file, mind you, but uh, you can use it across all your pages in the same HTML file. So if you have any questions, let me know. But if you want to check out more tutorials, go to learningdojo.net.